Hello friends, it's Armstrong here from Other Miniatures and today I'm gonna be participating in something that uh, Aaron did as she posted up on the Facebook. So we are all converting the, what do we call this, a Pontiac Aztec to a monster truck. And the interpretation of a monster truck is up to your own discretion. So, yeah, this is gonna be a hard for me because I have like a couple of hours to finish it and I just received that car today. Uh, I spent on it much more than I was expecting <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's kind of, you know, odd. Yeah, but again, open interpretation of World Monster Truck. So, I will see what I can do. Yeah, the big wheels, you know, probably gonna happen. But we'll see, we will see. It just, I really don't know, uh, you know, how to interpret it. So, you know, probably this tool gonna be used, yeah, to help me with making decisions in here. Yeah, but yeah, let's just get on the table and start building and hopefully you're gonna come up with something. So I have this car out, out of the box and, uh, you know, like I said, I have only till tomorrow to actually finish the build, so I'm gonna be sitting late tonight to, to build it. Uh, and like I said, the interpretation is free to make it whatever you want. So... It's a nice casting, but I'm just thinking what I can do with it. I was thinking, cut like this, yeah? Just to per, per, uh, just to keep the front wheels, yeah. Cut it like that. Cut it like that. Get the front removed. Cut it in half. Yeah. Remove the back wheels. Put him on the back on the bigger wheels. Maybe remove these doors. Yeah. Extend the entire car. Put a giant engine in front, use this as a ram, as a split ram. We're gonna put a little bit of a metal in between. Yeah. Mm. That's the initial idea. Yeah. I'm gonna start cutting. Unfortunately, I only have one of those castings. So, whatever I'm gonna come up with is gonna be it. Yeah. There's no other choice. But I'm going to be back after I have a couple of pieces prepared and we're going to start merging it together, yeah? So I'll be right back. Ooh, I'm going to be completely honest, I think that that's the most messy that my desk looked in a while. So what I did with this poor boy, boy I cut it the front off. I already trimmed the window, I trimmed the plastic insert. I cut out the part in here that have the side panel. Uh, the bottom is, you know, destroyed completely into pieces. That piece has been cut off for, you know, fitting the missing door. I built the engine. Yeah. It is like an airplane engine. I still have to fill up this. I'm probably just going to put the wheel on the front of it. And I got double six wheels. So I, it's going to be a six wheeler sort of a monster truck not really a monster truck but sort of yeah let's start actually gluing stuff together because i gotta be chatting and not doing anything instead i can actually start gluing stuff come on that super glue is taking ages to, to dry so i'm not really rushing through this uh, is there really any place that this gonna stick to uh, that side panel line. Okay. Yep. So there we go. Now the floor. I'm gonna try to use those two lines as a you know something to glue it to. There is not too much work that I want to do on the main body itself. The most of it is going to be the front, you know, those side doors, uh, wheels and so on. So I have a gun, 
which is going to be this double barreled turret. I as well, you know, was thinking about this mini gun, but yeah, uh, no, 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 I'm missing a little bit. Oh, there we go. That's the back spoiler. Yeah, needed to rip everything apart to actually get a, you know, to get rid of the wheels without damaging them and uh, yeah, to get get the inserts out because I, of course, I didn't drill, so I just after cutting I just rip it off. <laughs> <laughs> now let's just glue it back. So like that, like that, in here. Maybe in here should be good enough. Yeah. And I think that I got the flu, so yes, just what I needed. Uh soon enough I'm going to Poland again. My parents have the 50th wedding anniversary. So I will be there for few weeks or two weeks yep all right so we have this now the engine part so I want to mount it like that yep and then I'm gonna have to figure out how to fill up this gap in here yeah this this giant gaping gap yeah that I can stick a rod through I'm probably gonna just put some sort of a pipes in there yeah, so let's just glue that. And you know, this rod, this square rod, is basically my base for the wheels as well. Come on. So you're gonna be honest, I'm probably just gonna turn off the video and wait for the super glue to dry. Uh, you can see that because of the engravings in here it doesn't really want to cut correctly like I said that super glue isn't great so you see I gotta have to like I said figure out the way to fill it up and then we gotta have one wheel here one wheel here and one wheel somewhere in here yeah just all of them gonna be just under it and those I probably gonna have to put a single ones in here on the front to keep that giant the giant engine over the ground yeah but like I need to add a little bit of a block in here because I cut it too short. Yep, but I gotta what I gotta do, I gotta just glue this to the front and uh, I gonna attach the wheels and then we're gonna be converting this somewhat farther. Yeah, but you have the idea what I want to do in here. Double wheels on the back, one wheel on the front, maybe even push it in front of the engine, I don't know. We'll figure it out in a few minutes. Yep, in the meantime I need to let it dry. Yeah, and I'll be right back. So, after a few improvements, we have the chassis set up with the wheels. You can see what I done in here is I added those two blocks and I added just uh, little pipes to get the wheels. Then I got added the wheels. I added that wheel, like I said, as a front just to you know, cover the hole in the engine. And I just put a piece of pipe on the front. Uh, now, I built this block of seven giant jerry cans, yeah, and I want to put them in here as an extra fuel, yeah, because for this engine they definitely gonna need extra fuel. So I gotta attach it to here. I gotta use the cut do cutaway doors to cover this hole. Uh, I have in here this to cover that window, and I have this little doubly knob cover this window yeah then we gotta add rocket launcher on top of that the front we're gonna get a ram yeah and uh, we gotta add a gun on the top <laughs> we gotta cover the window with one of those here the front window uh, I probably gonna use one of those little, like you know, crates, whatever it is, to cover this side panel, the wheel well. And uh, I gotta fill this up with a rubber band, you know, going backwards. And probably we're just gonna have a couple of pipes going up on this side, not on this side, because on this side, of course, 
there's gonna be a rocket launcher so it's gonna be only on the one side that you're gonna have the pipes yeah so that's the plan and of course they're gonna have to cover those doors with something I'm thinking some sort of a mesh you know to cover it I don't really have a clear idea just yet yeah and I was thinking about putting the cut in half pieces of the hood or to cover the front wheels but after looking at it you know how it's gonna look like it just doesn't really work so I will abandon this idea and just you know build it as I think yeah and we just gonna call it a monstrous track instead of a monster track yeah because my goodness that engine is definitely monster yeah <laughs> so that's gonna be my interpretation of the word monster truck yeah but like I said you know that that gaping hole in the front is really really annoying so a couple of pipes you know I just probably gonna fit them in here into that hole in the square and then we're gonna have like pipes going out yeah but yes just give me a few minutes and I'll be right back. Oh, Alright guys, so it is day two. As you can see, I did black bomb the entire thing. Yeah. It became massive. Yeah, and like I said, I didn't put those spoilers on the front of the car because, yeah, it just didn't work. And I have a man flu so I can barely speak and barely breathe. So yay, awesome, that's what I needed. Yeah, let's just get a little bit of a metallic dry brushing to actually make this thing look alive. Yeah. So, as you can see the chassis, I didn't actually do anything extra with it, just left it as is. I was thinking about building proper transmission, you know, and everything else. But I'm just too sick to use my brain today. So yeah. <sighs> Let me just do the hop cups. And we need some more paint. I'm using metal silver, so all of that metallic is very, very shine, shiny and happy and everything, yeah? Just like me today, yay! I'm sick, so happy about that. Yeah, but yeah, it is what it is, you know, sometimes you just get a flu and you have to complain about this. So yes, there we go. That's me today. And I feel that I just had something cracking. So I hope that I didn't break a wheel. Let me just do that. Like I'm really trying to do the very light dry brush, but it's gonna be a heavy overbrush, I guess. <sighs> what else? What else? smaller brush now to get deeper into this engine and as well to get the front window properly painted uh. okay so we have that done now let's just look for something green. Uh, so we have this in here, plastic ball, Pla plasmatic bolt, whatever. I'm assuming it's supposed to be some sort of a green kind of shining effect. I don't care. Yeah. I just want to paint the jerry cans in a different color because 
The Jerichos usually are not just pure metal, so let's just give them a little bit of this paint. They're gonna get a little bit greenish in the hue. And gonna probably look a lot, lot better. Of course, I did use the black, why not? <sighs> yes, just a genius. <sighs> so sorry, I'm just gonna be complaining about myself today because I just feel like, you know, <sighs> I'm not gonna be using this in the video because it's not, you know, PG. <laughs> so yeah. But I don't feel great, yeah? Let's just leave it at that. But still, you know, I wanted to participate, so I have to do something. Like getting myself back into order, just for a couple of minutes to get that up and finished. Yeah, and I gotta leave this green jerry cars as they are. I know that it is barely visible, yeah? But there is a different hue in here. Yeah, if you just look at that, it's greenish. <clears throat> now, I'm just thinking about the body, you know, if I want to do something to it. And I know that I have somewhere a yellow paint, but I'm just testing this Valeo paint. It is the first generation of the, the easy paints, you know, those tire speed paints. Uh, I just bought a box of them, but for the life of me, I don't even know where the yellow paint is right now. Huh. Fire giant orange, okay. Let's just try to paint the body of the car in that color. Oh, I didn't mix it. Ah, genius again. <sighs> Although they do look really the same whenever you mix them or not. But yeah, let's try to use that color, yeah, on top of the body. It is already kind of, you know, messed up, so I don't really think it's gonna do any extra damage. Yeah. So there we go. That's the doors. Yeah, one thing about all of those paints, they do tend to very quickly run out of your brush. But I assume that was the idea, you know, of them just covering quickly and, you know, taking the time to dry. <sighs> Sorry about my heavy breathing, but I am a mouth breather right now. Because my nose is just full and I cannot breathe as a normal human should be able to. Yeah. So what was the thing that I did? You know, I did cut out that little spoiler that I actually preserve because uh, I needed to fill those jerry cans and yeah, it vanished. It didn't have place anymore in that build. Yeah, but that body gonna be in this kind of metallic orangish color, which already look like a rust. Yeah, let's give it now two minutes to dry. Well, probably much more, yeah, because of how I feel. Yeah, but I'm just thinking, you know, what to do about all of those pipes. They are like those pipes here and those pipes here. What I gonna do, I just gonna grab one of those Marrakech blue uh, paints. Yeah, I don't really think about the paint composition right now. And I have orange, I have green, I have blue now. This one is a normal paint, not the speed paint, so it should uh, take much better to those pipes. And we're just gonna paint them. Yeah, to have a different color in here in general. Okay. So one side. And you can see that actually instead of using just a rubber buds for this one, I actually use a like a cord. Yeah, it looks cool. It's a different kind of feel. And of course, it doesn't go anywhere near where the rest of the pipes are going, but I just fed it under the engine to have something, you know, connected to. Yeah, 
Oop. And I just paint it like that. I know that technically when it's gonna be standing on the table you wouldn't be able to see it, but it's just for myself to be painted. And you can see there are actually pipes which are actually fed up here into the engine. Because I really need to cover that hole. Yeah, so now I'm gonna give it time to dry and I'm gonna be back with weathering. So we're gonna get some weathering powders out, some oil, some more vibrant oranges maybe and some reds and give it a little bit of a rust and you know maybe dirty up the wheels because now they are just blue. <laughs> okay, so I think that everything is dry. Let's just apply some orange as a rust bits. <sighs> wow, it's so hard to breathe. And we're gonna cover, of course, you know. Uh, I don't know if I should put rust on the engine, you know. It's just... Doesn't really seem correct to me, if it is that part that's supposed to be working. <laughs> Sorry for the lack of focus. But that's gonna be enough because I tend to overdo that. Uh, again, sorry for my sniffling and stuff like that. I'm just too sick to really care at that point. So now we're gonna take one of the Valeo pigments, bro and brown iron oxide, and you know try to make some space in here uh, and just apply it wherever I feel like it should be. So maybe in here, in here, some in here, some here, some here. And then we're gonna flick it and do the same. Just apply more of the same. And yeah, like, you know, it's not a masterpiece, let's be honest, yeah? But I think that considering the fact that I can barely breathe, I did fairly well. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I just put that as a dust on the wheels to cover those blue uh, the blue shite that was there yeah sorry my poglish is just completely wrong today so I don't even try anymore Yeah, but that's it. Let's just grab a spin table, throw it on the spin table, and then I'm gonna just put it together and throw it on the YouTube. <laughs> 